Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to connect Airtable to MailChimp. Let's begin. Now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time here in MailChimp, I want you to click on the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Connecting Airtable to MailChimp is a straightforward process that can help you sync contact data between the two platforms, making it easier to automate email marketing campaigns. Now, once you are logged into your Airtable account, you see when you hover to the upper right corner and click on the integrations, go to the uh, third party integrations and connect a new account as you can see mailchimp is not available all right basically mailchimp is not part of the native integration for airtable now if you switch to mailchimp and go to the integrations directory type in airtable and press enter what will happen is as you can see there is no airtable available for mailchimp all right but don't worry because there's going to be a third party option for us to connect these two platforms it's that's going to be using zapier wherein you can let you connect mailchimp with thousands of the most popular apps now i'm switching over to zapier and you can simply connect these apps and have all this endless possibilities to automate your work from airtable to mailchimp if you are a fan of our deep laughs channel you know that we covered so many zapier automation tutorials for you guys you see because we are here to basically help you solve your problems quickly if you haven't already you might want to click on the subscribe button so you get notifications from our latest content now going back to zapier first is we're going to select the event for uh, Airtable. now the event could be it triggers when a record is created or updated or are you going to choose it triggers when a new record is created well there's going to be an option for it triggers when any record new or existing is first added to a selected view this is going to be a little bit um complicated instead i'm going to choose the first one okay so once you've done that click on continue and we're going to choose the base for Airtable. All right. So I'm going to choose this one for now, the default option. In the table, I'm going to choose the uh, class one. Now, as you can see, you must have at least one last modified time column in your table in order to test this trigger. Now, choose the value right here. And it's going to be true for now. Now all you have to do is click on continue. You can test your trigger to make sure it is set up correctly. Now after that, all we're going to do is go to MailChimp. All right, we're going to fix that later. But let's go. Get, let's head over to the MailChimp. We're in. We're going to choose an event. For example, it adds a new note to an existing subscriber. Or are you going to choose to add an email address to a tag within an audience? But please note that email address must already be subscribed to the audience or this will fail. But of course, we don't want to fail. So we're just choosing the first option. Go to sign into my MailChimp account. And from here, just continue logging in and authorize these apps. Click on allow. Just wait for it. There you go. All we have to do is click on continue and choose the audience value. That's going to be D Plaf's YouTube channel. Enter email address. Okay. 
click and continue once you have fixed this all you have to do is click this turn zap on and now you can sit back and relax because zapier will do all the work for you all right now another option that we could explore in connecting Airtable to MailChimp is going to be from make.com wherein we can connect Airtable and MailChimp with any of the favorite apps in just a few clicks for example like Zapier we need to choose the trigger I'm going to choose the uh, it triggers when a new response is submitted and for the MailChimp I'm going to choose a specific action I'm going to choose maybe it adds a new event to the member or adds or updates a list member all right now all you have to do if you haven't already just go to www.make.com click the sign up button because it's really easy to create one i'm going to click the get started free or log in and i'm going to log in using my account here using my google now here in inside the make.com we're going to build a scenario okay so i'm gonna rename this one in connecting Airtable to mailchimp now for the air table we need to create a module all right so choose a hook and click on okay wait for it the idea is that Airtable can be used to score leads based on their behavior or engagement now this data can be synced to mailchimp right here to send personalized emails to high priority leads we're going to of course create a connection just wait for it and from here just have to authorize these apps you can click on the show advanced settings if you wanted but i'm not gonna do that because it's a little bit trickier i'm gonna click on save and from here just create or log in your account i'm sorry just wait for it i'm gonna click on allow because if you're using Airtable as a CRM to track leads or customers, connecting it to MailChimp ensures that marketing and sales activities are aligned. Now you can nurture leads through automated email campaigns based on their stage in the sales funnel. Now, of course, you can click on map. Contact ID. And click on OK. Click on Allow. Now, as you can see, once you're finished with it, connecting Airtable to MailChimp is a powerful way to automate contact management, streamline marketing campaigns, and of course, enhance collaboration. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you again in the next video.